Kimberly, tell us why you chose Local 360 as your favorite. I actually love Local 360 because uh, my father actually lives in Vermont, and the way that the decor is set up is so open, and it just looks like a cabin. It looks like, you know, they're ready to just light up the fire for you, give you these huge portions that grandma used to make for you. I had the fried chicken with the uh, bacon mousse, the kale, and the cheesy grits. The portions are lovely, the people are lovely, and it's just a nice experience. We started out ordering these cocktails. I don't know if you guys tried those signature cocktails. The honey, they have. The, did you have that? Amazing, yeah. Um, my wife had it. And the right for the picking. We like both had one of each of those, and they yeah. were both really, really yummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then we had our kids, so we had these peanut butter and jelly bonbons, I think they were called. And um, have you tried those? No, I actually had the <laughs> salted caramel tart. So did I. It was so no. good. Did you? Oh. We had the, like the roasted pig or the fried pig ears. Yeah. Like, oh. Have you tried those? No. Oh. They're like drenched in like blue cheese and walnuts. Yeah. So like no room for dessert. But those were amazing too. Yeah. I had the pork. It was like two and a half inches thick. And I think it was on like a bed of kale. And then there was something else under it that I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But it's really kind of comfort and then food the in a way, isn't side. it? Yeah. Like the oh, it's yeah. brown bread. Under. Yeah, 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 yeah. brown bread, yeah. And, and so it was one of those dishes where you kind of put everything up together on every forkful, and uh, I was just completely happy. Couldn't have been happier. We had the, um, the beet salad, um, mm -hmm. and that was really delicious. So mm -hmm. it was just like beets and greens, and it was dressed really nice. I think they had like a champagne shallot vinaigrette, and it was really, really beautiful. The beets were so delicious and sweet, and that was probably, besides the cocktail was my favorite thing <laughs> that I ate because I, I had the chicken and was a little just a little dry the other part was great it had the bacon mousse like rolled up into it and it was super yummy we also had the uh, uh, I think it was a rabbit gratin oh, of I some sort I wanted that. to try that yeah. you should have tried it <laughs> yeah. it was in one of those little cast iron I don't know what mm -hmm. they are gratin thing and mm -hmm. it was uh, I, I just loved it talk to me about your first impressions when you first entered the room Angie Oh, it was really fun because it's like walking into a really fancy barn. There's really like rustic wood and we sat in a booth kind of right by the bar and I was mm -hmm. excited because I got to see the guys in the kitchen work. Um, we, I did notice that uh, there was a lot of dudes in flannel with beards. Oh my God, this looks so good. There's a mm -hmm. lot of that going on there. I really liked the decor and it felt really warm and homey. And mm -hmm. it was very like down home cooking. Yeah, that's my favorite part about them. Fancy down home cooking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what and I kept And you went with there. your kids, and mm -hmm. how was that experience? Uh, that was a wonderful experience. They were accommodating. Like, I mean, the two hours says it all. Yeah, yeah. they were great, and, and they loved the food. We also had the... Uh, uh, macaroni and cheese, um, which I, I'm like one of those kids who didn't like macaroni and cheese. I never have, but I liked the macaroni and cheese. Even I did, yeah. <laughs> and just one more thing that struck me on, uh, that I think about with um, when a place has this local 360 and their um, sustainability and they have kind of a purpose to them, I love finding places that have that, but they don't depend on it too much, you know? Right. Meaning that it drives the spirit of the place. It's so important but it's not like the waterfront place that has horrible food. Everything yeah. else was so great yeah, and it stood great. on its own. Local 360 is known for their use of local food, hence the name. I like when you find things like that. So, Definitely. And ha Kimberly, how was your service experience? You know, it was busy, but we felt like we were the only table there. Yeah, mm. Just absolutely Johnny on the spot. I yeah. loved it. It was just good. It was. They were just very friendly. They were very accommodating with the kids. Uh, so we just remarked on the service, that it was just prompt and, and f very friendly. And how about you, Angie? Any notes on the service experience you had? Oh, it was a really good experience. I think that um, the waiter was really friendly. He was really good at like recommending, like walking us through the menu because there were some things that I, like I'd never tried pig ears before, and I was like, I want to try them. Mm. And how are they? So it was good. Did Did you guys notice uh, the back room? By yes, chance? and I plan to have a party there. Yeah, because they yeah. have it's a really back stunning. room. Don't it's they? really stunning. And I think you can reserve it. Yeah. Some, I don't um, know if you saw. Pat, talk to me a little bit about the neighborhood that Local 360 is in. Um, well, it's uh, Belltown, um, and it just had a good energy going, and I said to my wife, um, I'm glad Belltown's still, <laughs> still going here. And, and how was and, parking for you? Uh, parking was a piece of cake. We just paid at a parking lot right nearby. Angie, how was the bang for the buck? Well, it, you know, I mean, it's not a cheap place, but they have huge portions, so I feel like, you know, what you get is totally worth it. Did you feel like there was a good value as well? 
Yeah, I did. I totally agree. I think it's great value. Yeah. Have you ever been there for lunch? I have been there for lunch. I've gone there with a couple of girlfriends, and actually, my favorite thing to order is the chicken pot pie. When you were talking about the mm. cast iron pan, mm. um, do you oh, ever see good. that? No. Oh, it is. It I is. Didn't it's even just, see that. It's just little, about oh, yay big, um, just chicken pot pie, and then just one layer of this really flaky crust. Mm. It's super hot, so you have to stab at it, but yeah. it is so good. Yeah. So that's my favorite thing. Oh. All right, Kimberly. Try that. Well, uh, Local 360 was your favorite spot. Sum it up for us. I think their their localness, their sustainability is really important, and if you're ready to eat, you're ready to go there. <laughs> How about you, Pat? <laughs> they have the sustainability thing, but that just make, gives it more intention to the food it is, and it's just great, great place to go, great food. I loved it. And Angie? It's really good food um, and a really great, just warm feeling. Excellent. Well, you can have that warm feeling of love for yourself at Local 360, 2234 First Avenue in downtown Seattle, at the corner of First and Bell, 206 441 9360. Open weekdays from 11 a.m. and on the weekends from 8 a.m. Open every day and reservations are accepted. <laughs>